At this time, the humans were finally able to leave the core of the Earth, where they were hidden away for several centuries to survive the radiations left by the last atomic conflicts. At the heart of the jungle, they discovered the Buzooks, a race of mutants who were living peacefully at the foot of a hill. The humans took possession of these places by force and built a city on the hill called Vrxtl. But the problem is, indeed, it's lots at So, Professor Azimuth, do we play with dolls now? <laughs> Stars everywhere. What happened to me? Ouch! What's this word schnibble that keeps popping up? Uh, yes, sir. That house behind us. Who does it belong to? It belongs to Professor Asimov. He's a respected man known for his scientific work on time. Something must have happened here tonight. And can you tell me who I am? I don't know you. I've never seen you around here before. Come closer. You have something there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Looks like boots. Good. I'd like to wear something on my feet. Unfortunately, I can't make out what's inscribed because I can't read. Uh, buddy, why are you so sad? Uh? We bazooks are being oppressed and exploited in the city. Uh, I'm new in this town. Uh, can you tell me how to find my way around here? Uh? Bad. Very bad. The food is atrocious, and the water is not even drinkable. The humans that govern burden us with many taxes and obligations. <laughs> so nobody complains? You don't fight back? Uh? Impossible. Our king has been completely incapacitated by the humans. He is waiting for the schnibble to come forth. He says, he is our only hope. And what becomes of your wives and, and children? Uh? Those who do not abide are sent out to the jungle. Our women are depraved. Our young people are on drugs and jobless. <laughs> Hello, miss. Do you live in this neighborhood? Indeed. But I've never seen you there before. And the Schnibble knows how good I am at remembering faces. I can remember every single face I have met, may it be only once. Um, do you know the Schnibble? Yes. He embodies all that is beautiful and harmonious in us. 
<laughs> Professor Azimuth, heard of him? Certainly. He is a learned person with an attractive physique. It's rare. Hey, friend, isn't there too much water? Do you think I can cross? Absolutely. There's no danger. You can go ahead. Trust me. You snibble face. Can't trust you, can I? a picture of Professor Azimuth. What a good-looking man! Here is the article that came with the picture. It's about his research. It Do you live in the area? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. You look so much alike. <laughs> Are you uh, twins? Okay, drop it. I won't get anything out of him as long as he's plastered. <laughs> then I grabbed a handful of feathers. Those were the good old days. Woodruff, you are not going to enter this ignominious place, are you? <laughs> Behind these doors lies a garden of delights. Go on, Woodruff, that's good. Go on. <laughs> <sighs> 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 B 
but I do know you. You are little Woodruff, Azabeth's adopted son. So then you know who I am? What? Well, who are you? I am your school teacher. Bye, you've grown so much. I don't remember a thing. You're saying that Azimuth is my adopted father? Yes. Something terrible must have happened because Azimuth disappeared. Now that I know he's my father, I'm going to look for him more actively. That's what he would have wanted. Here, he gave B this to keep for you. Thank you. But tell me, who is J.F. Sebastian? That's the lightly bearded Ban over there. Why? Do you know him? Sorry to bother you, but you must be J.F. Sebastian, the famous literary critic. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Woodruff. Mm, nice to meet you, young man. You wish to talk to me? I heard that you might have information about what happened at Professor Azimuth's. Yes, I saw a man dressed in black entering, and I even recognized the bigwig. Bigwig? Who is that character? He is the president's right hand, but his government is a masquerade. You think then that the, the big wig kidnapped Azimuth? For what reason? Because Azimuth is a dissident who preaches subversive ideas. Oh, yeah. About freeing the bazooks. He's in grave danger of them. Oh, yes. No doubt about it. Since the big wig is also very interested in Azimuth's work on time, Yeah, that's it. I remember now. It all makes sense. I remember the tragic day Azimuth was taken away by the men of the bigwig, the same brute who ruthlessly shot my teddy bear later. Ah, the cruel monster. I'll have to find my daddy Azimuth and his schnibble. Something so that I can teach you how to read before I leave. Then she taught me how to read. Those were the good old times. The article was about Dr. Azimuth and the mysterious Schnibble, who nobody had ever seen. Get the weather report, dial. Kazig. Stobles. On your tabazin. You little guy, as a token, please take this Meteozon watch. It will allow you to determine the precise position of the impact of meteorological disturbance. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Oh, oh, I drank to forget, and it really worked. There is a big hole in my memory.
Then, I'll have to draw Woodruff setting the A made of stone in the imprint, and then he gets a top bazaar. What's that? Woodruff, welcome to adulthood. I'm Azimuth, your adoptive father. I don't know if I'm still alive now, but it doesn't matter. You must pursue my work. Be worthy of me and find the schnibble. This Tabazan will help you to communicate with certain key points in the city. Go to the red light district. Someone will transmit a message to you from me. Of course, if you are stopped, I will deny having given you this mission. This tape will self-destruct in a few seconds. <laughs> Locally, some showers on the administration center, as well as a falling piece of meteorite, is foreseen on the big wig place. This was the latest weather report. Here's a nice bazook kite that I'd love to put my hands on. say he's the founder of the city, a great warrior who at the time exterminated most bazooks and enslaved the survivors. It is written, honoring our commander, founder of this city, who defeated the cruel bazooks. It is written, to the memory of our bazook brothers, killed during the great battle. This tribute to missing bazooks is made of morphoplastoc. It's cheap. Dang, it only took a slight pressure to get this thing going. Tell me, Mr. Bureaucrat, who gives you your orders? Ah, oh dear, Bigwig. He runs this city with an iron fist. Just look at the latest tax reforms. It's heartless. And where can we find this glorious person? Should be able to move about in the richer neighborhoods up in the city hills. That's where our rulers and the privileged few live. And how do we get to the heights of this city? Ah, to climb the social ladder in this city, one has to work. 
There are some jobs that the slave bazooks can't do, so there is always work for the humans. Try, and you'll see. It is written, work at the Pushnerbel factory. Ugly surroundings and frantic pace guaranteed. To apply, dial Drubzn Puglap on your Tabazan. Hello, hard-working candidate. You are connected with the recruitment service of the Pashmurgal Factory. To establish your dossier for candidacy, I need a breathing certificate which you can procure at the administration center as well as a simple Brotofletrin ID photo. Hello, sir. C could you please give me a breathing certificate? But certainly, dear customer. However, we have to measure your pollution rate first. Bring me back a sample of your breath in an approved container. I think he's making a mockery of me with his UL approved container, and I'd show him what I think if I weren't against all forms of violence. <laughs> This merchant sells only nuts, from all over, all sizes. And the tax on treading the soil, did you pay it? It is written, fellow citizen. To enter the club, you have to be dressed decently. Hey, buddy, want to get rich quick? I've got a tip for you. Inside this store, there's a secret passage that leads to an illegal clandestine game room where the betting is heavy. Hey, Bertie, can I get your attention? Shit! Hey, pal, how'd you end up here? You used to be a doorman the High Morals Club, but I got fired due to indecency caused by a bear behind. I can't even fly anymore. Oh, but I am optimistic. The snibble will give me my feathers back and I'll be able to go back. What's this high morals club? Uh, what's it all about? Oh, no chance for you to get dressed like that. It's an organization that keeps a watchful eye on decency and high morals. Its daily task is to censor artistic works and behaviors, mainly because of those bazooks. Oh. Uh, I'd like to see that. If you find me some feathers, and if you finally enter this place, I will open up some private doors for you.
opens. I can go through. Oh, it's very dark in here. Hard work, you know. We have to take stimulants. My adoptive father warned me against these harmful products. Come on, come on, try it. It's free. Oh, don't insist. Here, here, just a little pill and you'll feel energized. You're getting on my nerves now. That's enough. <laughs> the contestants focus before the fight. This is the red light district where so many young bazooks come and waste their meager resources to forget for a moment their miserable conditions. I might be able to get a few strolls and learn something. That sly dog Azimuth must have hidden the schnibble in there. Hello, oh, madam. You must see a lot of people going through here, don't you? Hey, I recognize you! You're Woodruff, Azabus' adopted son! I bade you jump on by knees when you were younger! Bye! You've grown so much! Another one of Azabus' ideas! By the way, he gave me something to hand to you! Clubsy! You broke the stonefish! How come you knew Azimuth? W were you a friend of his? Oh, we bet at the Buzuk Temple when he came to see the wise Ben or the king. I used to be the king's secretary. You can go see him. He will be delighted to know Azimuth's son. Here's the throne rubes digicode. Zig, Sto, Drew, Blaz. Tell me something about the Boozook wise men. I had to quit my job when the wise men lost their bebbery right after the big wig took power. Everything started to go wrong. The wise men forgot the cub to the council. They even forgot parts of their power. The king, not able to use the counsel of his advisors, became less and less efficient. He could not pay B any more. Oh, I understand. And that's what prompted Azimuth's famous conference. Yes! Then, the king gave a speech full of hope to our people, where he claimed that the Schnibbel would come to our rescue. But I think that this is not going to happen that soon, because Azimuth disappeared, and the Schnibbel knows how harassed dissidents are here. I hope you'll find him very soon.
might make money if you bet on the red or the black. Amen. You have an important job. You hold a higher-up position in this city? Alas, I am only a Boozook slave with no hope of becoming free. Well, it doesn't look too hard of a job, does it? I am in charge of watering the only plant left in this city. Well, you could probably help me. What is this building whose entrance we can see? It's a sect. There are worshippers of the Schnibbel, announced by Professor Azabuth. Oh yeah, the Schnibbel. What do you know about him? Have you seen him before? You know, I am not a fanatic. I am not like those lunatics in the sect. But I do know that one of these days, the Schnibbel will set us free. Yes, you're probably right. But what's your wish for the future? We bazooks want to live in harmony with everybody else. But the foolishness of the humans freed the demon that our wise men were able to contain. I'll take a pair, please. Right away, sir. You'll see life differently with these glasses. Uh, can I lease this strong, square chin from you? It's a good choice. You'll have a new life with this chin. Uh, do you have more of those? Well, I have rosy noses, folding ears, artificial toes, and large-sized thingamajigs. Would you like a demo? No! Do you really want to pick up this trash can? The madman who murdered my teddy bear! I swear, I'll kill him! It is written, Watch Miss Cocotte's Risque Show on channel Poo Mzz Blaz Drew. Experience amazing thrill in Ernst Blinst virtual travels. Welcome to the broadcast channel of Heart to Body, our sizzling night show. Today, 
We welcome two new splendid contestants. I remind you that if you wish to participate on our show, you must dial on our tabazin. Zidru Nibins. <laughs> Hello, madam. May I please speak with Miss Cocotte? I am her secretary. Sorry, Miss Cocotte never speaks to anyone off the air. Oh, I'm so very disappointed. I would have really liked to talk to her, if only for one minute. You know, if I let her talk to all her fans, she would quickly be overrun. I'm not just an ordinary fan. I'd like to tell her about the schnibble. About the schnibble? That's different. Since you have a nice voice, I'll see what I can do. I'll call you on the tabazin, okay? Flatron requires a stroll. Good. Miss Cocotte does not wish to speak to you, but for me, the schnibbel is a subject of utmost importance, so I'm going to give you her personal number. Blazka Puglap. Good luck. Hello, Miss Cocotte. My name is Woodruff. I know, you don't know me, but ever since the first time I saw you on your show, I had the feeling that our paths would cross by the will of the great Schnibble. How did you get my number? Oh, I see. You're the one my secretary was speaking about. She gave you my number anyway. Shameless. We have nothing to say to each other. We are not of the same world. So, it's useless to call me, okay? Recruitment service speaking. I've received your photo, but I'm afraid you didn't get the job. The ideal worker must be well-dressed. This job does not fit you at all. What an insight! You are right. I am a bazook, wise brad, the talent wise brad. So, so what are you doing here then? Why aren't you at the temple? Well, I thought it would be preferable to put some distance between me and the wise brad council since I lost my artistic syllable. So I sell souvenirs while waiting for better days. Is there something I could do for you? Hmm. My wife and I, we have a little conflict. If you go by the temple, talk to her on my behalf. My womb's digital is Carl Asgardley. Tell me, dear friend, what are you doing? Well, I string pearls. A laborious job. Does it make money? Not much. 
I'm paid with pearls. About work conditions. Only distraction is listening to the president speaking on the Dobazon. <laughs> My fellow citizens, the situation is grave. We have to make sacrifices because our economy is in shambles. If we don't take steps right now to correct this, we are headed to disaster. I have to impose new taxes for the sake of our nation. I am counting on everybody's sense of responsibility and civility to help us go through these bad times. But don't you worry too much now because the air you breathe is still free. Ciao, I have to go jogging now. Not a drop of water. However, there is a lot of good land. Can I get into this high temple of Buzuk wisdom? I don't let tourists in usually, but you look like a nice person. I can get in then. Hey, not so fast. I'll let you in if you get me a Blackster nut. Do you belong to the Schnibble sect? What is the Schnibble? Get closer, brother. I can see that you are lost. Let the Schnibble open its arms and embrace you. You'll find peace within your soul, and you'll clearly see the way. Furthermore, we take credit cards. What are you talking about? Where is this Schnibble? The Schnibble belongs to the members of the sect as long as they pay their dues. So, so you think you hold the Schnibble? Certainly. Proof is that the beast that roams the city at night does not harm the followers. It's the Schnibble's way to punish the profane. Our beloved Bigwig has appeared many times holding the hand of the charming Cocut. It appears that a romantic liaison is starting to bloom. We will keep our readers up to the latest development in this story. I'm devastated. She and this repulsive character? Why keep on living anymore? <laughs> Nothing matters now. Azimuth is probably dead. And Cocut will never love me. And the bigwig is just too powerful. Why go on? To Woodruff from Azimuth. Poo poo, zig zig. Azimuth might still be alive. I can't let him down. Come on, take heart. What does this factory produce? I don't know, but apparently it's useful. This crowd seems agitated. According to their banners, they're members of the Schnibble sect. Yeah. <laughs>
Big Mouth, what game are you playing there? Put down one stroll and choose a cup. If you find the eye, you win three strolls. Huh? Got me with your rock. I lost my chest because of you. So you offer virtual trips then? Oh, your sandalwood chest is beautiful. It must be heavy, isn't it? Indeed, but it's missing a leg. So, to keep it stable, I use a Blockster nut as a wedge. Did you know it is the hardest nut in the universe? Oh yeah, th this nut is fascinating. Sell it to me, your price will be mine. If you can find me something as hard as this nut, I'll give it to you free. Oh, your sandalwood chest is beautiful. It must be heavy, isn't it? Indeed, but it's missing a leg. So, to keep it stable, I use a Blockster nut as a wedge. Did you know it is the hardest nut in the universe? The landing of a huge meteorite is expected in front of the administration center, while on the tower side of the prison, some clearing will develop with some violent winds reaching 217 kilometers an hour. That was the latest weather report. merchant tells me that he sold his last Bluckster nut to some guy named Ernst Blinst. And the tax on foot perspiration. Skies which will give some local showers, some showers at the slammer's dead end, while the fall of a piece of meteorite is expected in front of the administrative center. <laughs> this was the latest weather report.
Joker, it's not enough to get me the blockster nut, it's the pulp I'm interested in. Everybody knows that it is the hardest nut in the universe. The landing of a huge meteorite is expected at the Big Big Place, while there will be winds reaching up to 548 kilometers an hour in front of the administration center. <laughs> This was the latest weather report.
I am at the council. The digicode is Blast Ka Zig Drew. It's signed The Time Wise Man. <laughs> Greetings, noble wise man. I'd like to talk with you. Ah, uh, if only I could remember, I would tell you, but my memory is failing me. I only have bits and pieces of memories left. Oh, I'm sorry. What's your job in this city? I am the wise man of the word, the witness of our Beeble's history. But now, I can't find the words to tell you because my memory is failing me. Is there anything I could help you with, noble gentleman? Alas, there is nothing you can do for me. I lost my basic syllable, the essence of all words. Only the schnibble could bring it back to me. I met your husband, the talent wise man, in his souvenir shop. He's working hard, you know, and he wanted me to convey his greetings. Ah, you bet my lazy husband. Since he lost his artistic syllable, he sings like a diesel engine. The other wise men got rid of him because their ears hurt. B2, he's starting to annoy B.
Our forefathers lived in Mies on the Burble Hill. Do you remember Salustra? But you are not Salustra. Who are you? I am an old frail bouzouk now, and I am tired. Ah, the snibble. I saw him last in 73, unless it was a few moments ago. Well, it does not really matter. Anyway, he is not far. I am at the king's. It's signed, Wise Man of the Strength. Come in. But wipe your feet first. <laughs> I'm starting to think, sir, that... You might be the strength, wise man. Ugh, alas. I'm not a bit stronger than any other portal since I lost my energy syllable. <coughs> Do you have any idea where your energy syllable is? Oh yeah, I know that. It's buried with the ashes of the unknown bazook fighter, locked in a box protected by a digicode. <coughs> what can I do to help you? It's not worth the effort. According to the Tybe Wise Man. We'll have to go back in time to get the Digicode from its owner. Greetings, Your Majesty. I, I wanted to meet you because your people admires you and, and hopes to see you back in power very soon. It's not that I don't want my people to regain their dignity, and I haven't given up yet. I am not through with this yet. In the bead time, look at me now, young man. I open my beer cans with the only tooth I have left. What a disgrace. I I I've been sent by Azimuth to help you attain your goals. Ah, you are on a mission for Azimuth. Then I am going to give you one of the rare syllables that survived the loss of the memory epidemic that swept the wise men of the council. It's the ruling syllable. It is an element of some bazook powers. I hope it will help you in your quest. Shoes! Could you, sire, tell me about the schnibble? Everything started when Professor Azimuth held a formal conference where he announced the coming of an era of happiness and prosperity for our city. The era of the Schnibble. According to him, it is an inescapable phenomenon he discovered while doing research on time. <laughs> and how'd the people react? Reactions were passionate and violent. Everywhere in the city, witnesses claim they saw signs of the schnibble. I thought then that good things were coming our way. It is then when things started to go wrong. But 
Just like an edema, good things come out later. Uh, those are very wise words. Uh, how did the government react to such revolutionary discourse? The government spokesman pretended that the schnibble was only a stratagem used by the government opponents such as the Bazook Freedom Party. He said that the government will not be manipulated by a bunch of extremists. Following this announcement, a person was seen levitating. This greatly limited the impact of the official declaration, as you might have guessed. <laughs> Thank you for your present. You are brave and you deserve to become a Buzuk Knight. Kneel down so that I can dub you. Oh, yeah. oh, boy. oh boy. You may now wear this keychain, symbol of our organization. It's an old menu written by the taste wise man. It says to dial Kablaz Zigsto to order Buzuyoli. Locally, some showers in the red light district while lightning will strike unceasingly the slammer's dead end. This was the latest weather report.
looks like it's in good shape. A little water would get it started. Where's your syllable, oh great one? Oh dear syllable, backbone of all times, past, present, and future. Are you the word wise man? No! He is my favorite master, but he's been giving me some troubles lately. Do you know where the wise man of the word might be now? I suppose he is wandering around looking for his room. It has been days since I saw him and I am starving to death. What happened to the wise man of the word? I think he is losing it. It has been days since he fed me. I am starved! Would you happen to have a peanut? <laughs> Oh, it's the basic syllable. He was the one who had it. The wise man of the word is going to be happy. I recognize it. It's by basic syllable. Thank you, my friend. I feel new verbosity in my lips. I am going back to the council right now. Ah, everything makes sense now. Ha <laughs> ha, I can return to the council now. Seems like you can help. I have two other colleagues who have disappeared. The health and the fertility wise bed. Here are the digicodes to their rooms. Poo, Zig, Drew, Bins, and Bins, Poo, Glap, Blas. <laughs> Oh. 
The wise man's not here, but he left a note. Let's see. I was called in by Ernst Blinst to debug his virtual trip. If I ever fail to come back, please send a rescue mission to find me. One never knows with these stupid animals. Signed, Wise Man of the Heel. Hello, Master. Are, are you the creator of that superb menu we found at the King's? No, and no. No, Schlapplur, no, Buzuyuli. I'd like to meet your husband, the fertility wise man. Ah, my husband. He disappeared while frantically searching for his green syllable. He became very depressed since the bigwig had all plants destroyed. The last time I saw him, he was on the trail of schnappler grains that were secretly grown in the asylum slab. I am afraid he got himself locked in with the crazies over there. to finally bake it back to the chamber. I am the health sage, and I was asked to get the bugs out of this critical part of the program. However, I can't find the exit with all these bloody beasts roaming around. 
to thank you for helping me. I am going to chant by medical syllable. It is rather ironic that a doctor has to destroy these creatures. Watch out! There! A mutant! You're my first patient. Let's see. Let's try a little diagnosis. You suffer from an overinflated ego of a dual personality. And this ulcer is brand new. You have to stop playing moron games. Hello, human. Join me in immortalizing this great victory. Commander, please tell me about your victory. Ah, it wasn't easy to conquer this hill. Wasn't there any way to live alongside the natives? Ah, no. Not with such primitive, cruel, and boorish creatures. How do you know that? You didn't even know any of them. At our approach, they thought that they would scare us by erecting one of their ferocious looking statues. But we were much better armed than they were. Why didn't you try to negotiate? They might have agreed. There was no way we would share this peaceful oasis in the middle of a hostile and ferocious jungle with these primitive creatures. We needed land. Something must have leaked from this jar and run on the armors below. Judging from what's left, the battle must have been ferocious. with B, please. Do, do I have a chance? Calm down. I want to help you. 
You... Oh, you are a human! You've killed me! Let me die in peace! I didn't have anything to do with it. I just want to know what happened here. I don't trust you. You'll get nothing out of me. Ah, don't get upset. Conserve your energy. You... Uh, you are a Buzuk Knight? How can that be possible? Before I die, I am going to tell you something. Klepni Puzig. This is the digicode of the save that holds my grandfather's ashes. I lost it in, in the ensuing panic. I hope you will find it. Aren't you in a lot of pain in that position? You but the pain is unbearable. you? Why did you take so long to get me out of here? Aren't you human? My name is Woodruff and I come from a time in the future where humans do not hate Buzooks. The humans came in force and tried hard to flush us out of this hill where we had lived peacefully until then. To deter them, we erected the statue of a fighter. That was a bad idea because they came back more heavily armed. Many of your families survived and still live in the foothills. I am glad to hear that. To thank you, and when I am healthy again, I will leave a power for you in the statue that belongs to my family. The intuition syllable. You'll be able to get it back in the present time. Bazook Warrior is a magnificent work of art. I don't remember having seen it in the present. It must have been stolen by the victors.
Since you've saved my grandfather's life on the big battlefield, you've made it possible for me to live. I will bestow my art upon you freely. Little Pittle, the way to wisdom starts with the control of the body. Hold your breath, and if your heart is pure, move your ears. You got it! <laughs> You've just acquired the oral control. If that abuses you, rare are those who can benefit from my teachings. Look at Cocot. She calls me Rivi. <laughs> It'll be good if you beat her. Dear Woodruff, congratulations for making it up to this point. To help you, here is a transportazon that will immediately take you wherever you want to go, as long as you've been there once before. The schnibbel is now almost within your reach. Check behind the portrait of the bigwig. Uh, you have my eternal gratitude. Thanks to you, I am strong again. By syllable, put my ideas back in order. In return, listen to the advice syllable. <laughs> It's fun, isn't it? By the way, could you do me a favor? I haven't heard from my friend the word Wiseman. Go to his room. The digicode is buns, 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 clap and ask him to join me in the council chamber. This formula will allow me to overcome everything that resists me. Hey, Fathead, you better give me a breathing certificate. Sorry to disappoint you, but there is a little formality to take care of first. Bring me back a sample of your breath in a container approved by the FDA so that I can measure your pollution rate. <clears throat> Please. I swear by the schnibble's beard, are you going to give me this damn certificate? Recruitment service speaking. We have received your breathing certificate. 
Now send us a Broto Fletron ID photo. This Broto Flatron requires a stroll. Recruitment service speaking. I now have your complete dossier. Luckily, I'm in a good mood. You're hired. Okay, you can come in, but leave your things in the locker room. Ah! You're the new recruit! You don't look too smart. Come on, I'll not explain it twice. You have to box bazook hats. Yeah, that's the new trend using all the elements in this assembly line. Watch out for defective hats. Try them on first. If you do well, I'll let you do other things. Go on to work. You stupid schnibble. Are you asleep or what? More are coming. You stupid schnibble! Are you asleep or what? More are coming! Hey boss, is it okay now? <laughs> I've seen better than this. I made it. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't perfect. It was slotting hard. Boss, I did my best, I swear. Gah, I don't know if I should keep you. You are costing me too much. Oi, I... Oi.
much injustice. I'm appalled by so much human misery. Hey, pal, can you hear me? Ah, uh, too late, it's useless. What an unfortunate fate. That's sad. That explains why he's here. He's a former tax collector. It ruins them. I hear him mumble a number. Gni, bzz, lap, poo. How sad. It's poignant. How depressing. I'd hate to end up this way. This scene is unbearable. It's depressing. Hello, Model Citizen Information Service speaking. We're open 24 hours to offer advice to indicate how you no longer need to pay taxes. Help me, please. I'm, I'm the victim of an abusive enclosure at the home of happiness. Ah, there you are. Have you paid the tax on camisoles and funnels? I tell you I need help. We'll take care of that later. Get me out of here first. My dear sir, I can only save the citizens who have paid their taxes. By the snipper's beard, you're pushing me to the limit! <laughs> What are you doing to this unfortunate bazook? I am doing an experiment on this bazook. I'm trying to make it fade. Interesting, huh? Why do you do this? Ah, it's for a strictly scientific purpose. It has nice colors. If it works, I try it on a larger scale. You mean on all bazooks? Yeah! To exterminate all bazooks! Ah, long live the big wig! He funds all my experiments! Uh, you, you work for, uh, their big wig, then? Yes! And I've destroyed all the plants in the city already! I hate anything that grows like these farms of bazooks that procreate everywhere! <laughs> What are you doing here, honorable wise man? I am here to reclaim my green syllable. But I was captured by a weirdo who thinks he can use me as a guinea pig. Baby, you can reason with him. He refuses to listen to me. I try. Uh, do you have any leads to your green syllable? In my opinion, only a lunatic who thinks he is a Blanche can inadvertently hold the green syllable. Unfortunately, Blanche don't talk. From here we can see the upper side of town where the rich and famous live. I see a terrace. <laughs> 
in the middle of which stands the statue of a bazook fighter. That's why it's not on the field of the great battle. The rich people snatched it to embellish their terrace. This is the temple of good taste here. If the graphic artists were not so lazy to create all the animation sequences, we would have thrown you out the door. In any case, we intend to censor this perverse game. <laughs> That's it? You went back to your job? Yes! As promised, I'm going to let you through the club president's door? <laughs> hey, Jeff, what do you think of all these people? These are censors and their job is to uh, God deep in literary works to remove anything that they perceive as offensive and tasteless. What do they do with their spare time? Oh, in fact, they got pretty much haphazardly and they ruin everything claiming that they are just following the Schnibble's percepts. And the president? The president? He's a fat hog who spends hours inside his private quarters in the company of mutant hookers of the red light district. Whoop. Hey! No trespassing! These are private quarters! <laughs> to suffocate me or what? I can't see anything now! <laughs> you must be the new gardener. Good timing, come closer. I'm working on my new speech. Listen to this. The time of laxism and indifference are over. We must completely eradicate the greed and violence that spoil... Last, I can't say it this way. Here, this might help you. <laughs> Let's start again. We have to tightly control any loosening of the most intimate flesh of our society. Yes, that's it. I've got it.
Cathedral is at 12. You ready to listen to another ball of wisdom? Close your eyes and let all the sense of the world permeate the deep of your olfactory senses. <laughs> You've regained your sense of smell now. You've gained control of your nose. In this stinking town, it's rather unpleasant, but you ask for it. Zini. <laughs> <laughs> This thing works, but I might have given him too strong a dose. <laughs> ah, by green syllable. You found the weirdo who had it. Thank you. Z <laughs> Z <laughs> 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 He's become bone idle. I don't think he likes to work anymore. going to be able to return to the council. I might stop by and see my wife on the way. <laughs> Hello, little beetle. Still doing your job? Here is a sample of my powers. Ocular control. Recognize the existence of your eyeballs and you'll learn how to look into corners. It's useless and fairly painful, but it gives you a mysterious look. <laughs> It's Schnapplur. I haven't had any for months. It's delightful. I will be able to make the Buzuyuli. I'll cook sub right now. you like it. Oh, it's Schnapplur.
now that our young friend who helped us to reconvene here is amongst us, I declare the session open. Thank you, Great Wise Man. I think we've wasted too much time already. We have to find out why everybody is slotting more and more. Listen, thanks to our friend Woodruff, I will soon feed our people Buzuyuli so that they'll regain their forces. The current situation will get better, you see. Indeed, it's a start. But it's not enough. The Hubbards do not know it yet. But evil has spread all over the city. You all have noticed it. Butants! There! Butants! However, we once were able to materialize evil and lock it in a sacred Spratznog. That's true. But don't forget, my dear colleagues, that the sacred Spratznog disappeared shortly after the Hubert invasion. Then it probably shattered and evil scattered everywhere. Or somebody carelessly opened it. Well, it's simple. We'll have to expurgate evil and lock it in another Spratsnog. Hooray! Let's do it again. Let's party. There! A butant! <laughs> you heard me, friend. Stop bickering, you two. Since everybody had a chance to speak their mind, it is clear to me that we'll have to get ready for a Spratsnog ceremony. Type, wise bad. What is the procedure? A symbol. Container will do. Polyphonic chants will take care of the rest. Taste wise, bad. Can we bake do with one of your cooking utensils? They are all busy now because I am baking some buzuyuli. But fertility wise, bad. Any receiver will do. Our friend Woodruff would certainly help us. Good idea. Strength wise, bad. Is there a spot in this room where it would be safe to put the container that will contain the dreadful forces that we will attract here? This table in the center of our circle, Noble Weisband, is adequately protected precisely because of its central position. Good! Health, Weisband! Are our bodies ready to bear the extreme biological changes that will be induced during the cerebodial? Hmm, yes. Even though we haven't had any for a long time, the recent passive injection of Bazooli will help us bake it through the hypnotic states that we are going to enter thanks to our sacred chance. Perfect! Talent wise bad, are our polyphonic music sheets ready? Yes, noble wise bad, just follow me. Everything will be just fine. Let's meditate and be ready for the ceremony. Noble wise men, I will try my utmost to be worthy of your trust. And, Woodruff, be sure to pull the red lever at the right time. <laughs> This Brodo Flatron requires a stroll.
to forget what I had done to myself. Fired from my job at the jail because I wouldn't play rummy anymore. <laughs> Thank you, little guy. Now, I might have a shot at rehab. state of speed is attained through control of the body. Take this power. It will allow you to control the growth of your hair. <laughs> it doesn't have any practical use, but it's fun. Hi guys, uh, I heard there's work, true? To apply, you must get Form 2B75 from the Administration Center and return it to us properly signed. Hello, sir. I'd like the 2B75 job application form. Sorry, but I've misplaced it. Come back later. I might have found it then. Shoo is Ah! I remember now where I put it. Second row, fourth drawer to the right. Hey, drop it, kiddo. We have robots that do that. Hey, what about our rummy game? There are four of us. Yeah, great. Hey, Marcel, come down. We're gonna play card games. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to go to the john.
at the Bigwig place, some violent winds which are going to escalate up to 333 kilometers an hour. At the red light district, blue skies with some rain showers disappearing. This was the latest weather report. The landing of a huge meteorite is expected in front of the administration center, while on the tower side of the prison, some clearing will develop with some violent winds reaching 217 kilometers an hour. That was the latest weather report. Hi, pal. So you're the one who refused to leave the prison? Yeah, I'm going fine. I'm staying put. Would you be able to help me get all the way to the top? There's someone I need to see. Ah, you want to see Azimuth? He's a friend of mine, Professor Azimuth. We often communicate by the piping. I can grant you another piece of my power. Listen! It's the story of a lunatic who rebends his ceiling. Another lunatic comes and says, Cling to the paintbrush. I'm removing the leather. <laughs> Aren't you laughing? That's very good. You see, you just acquired facial control. But tell me, Master, what's the use of all these powers? Separately, it's nothing, little beetle. Strictly nothing. But if you mix them together, you will be able to levitate, like me. <laughs> It's the statue I saw in the past on the field of the great battle. It's a lavish residence that belongs to one of the privileged few in this city. Hello, Miss Kakut. Do you know that we have the same professor, Riri? Riri? He's my aerobics instructor. A classy bouzouk. Do you know him? Say, I don't know many people here, but I was lucky to be able to do him a big favor. But what is it with this story about the schnibble? Are you an agitator or what? You know, my acquaintances are carefully monitored because I had to find my way amongst the higher-ups in order to be able to keep my program. So I don't want any trouble. Oh, don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. I simply want to meet you. 
By speaking of the schnibble, I only wanted to attract the attention of your secretary. Can we meet somewhere? I'm pressed for time here. Call me later. We'll chat longer then. Hello, Miss Cocotte. It's Woodruff. Do you have a minute? Oh, Woodruff. What perfect timing. I have good news for you. I'm organizing a special I party at my place. I'm inviting you. You will enter by the Nobles Terrace. The entrance digicode is Glapzigny Lurs. Great. Art to see you at last. The Nobles Terrace. That's in the upper city, isn't it? Exactly. To gain entrance, some advice. Let the wind carry you. I'll be happy to see you. Perhaps you'll give me some enlightening advice. You will meet the bigwig. Let's just say he's a close friend. You surely heard about him. Are you kidding? I know him only too well. He's the cause of all my troubles. All right. I, too, have reason to complain about him. He scares me now. He watches me constantly, and there's this mean look about him. I was invited to this party by Miss Coquette herself. May I come in? You are a friend of Coquette. She should have warned you. You need an ocular accessory to get in. Everybody has to dress up. It's the rule. That works. I'm finding piles of yellow-bellied bites. Bravo, programmers! Excuse me, young man. I, I was told that I would find Professor Azimuth here. Do you know him? Oh, it's you, Woodruff. I am Professor Azimuth. It's wonderful to see you again, sir. Don't be surprised by my youthful appearance. I continued my research on time in spite of my detention. You too have changed. Last time I saw you, you were a little kid who could barely talk. Uh then you're my father. Hello, Father. You, uh, are you doing okay? I got your messages and I came to your rescue. Congratulations. You fulfilled my expectations. But it's not over just yet. The hardest is yet to come. The big wig has to go. I should not go out. I'm safe here because the old fart wants me to make him younger. He aged terribly since the forces of evil possessed him. Take this Weibel Frutzer. That's what made you age fast. You can use it against the big wig. Well, I understand a few things, but you need to explain a lot more to me. Listen then. Everything started when the humans invaded the bazooks and ruthlessly enslaved them. They denied them everything, their dignity and all. Oh, some of them told me. The humans even took away from them their beautiful writing. Exactly. 
The Bazooks held this treasure that made them peaceful people because their souls were protected from evil. They were able to channel and lock the evil spirits in a sacred container, the Spratznog, during occultic ceremonies where their leaders met. Oh yes, the famed council. And the Spratznog, was it stolen too? Right! In the plundering, the Spratznog disappeared. Then the years went by. One day, the president's trusted advisor, also known as the Bigwig, formed a coup and took power. He established a kind of dictatorship in our city, completely shunning the president. Oh, I understand. That's what they call the era of the beast. But what caused the bigwig to act this way? At that point, I suppose that the Spratznog was found, then accidentally opened by the bigwig. Next, the evil spirit spread everywhere. An epidemic loss of memory hit the wise men and progressively diminished the powers that would have allowed them to fight the beast. <laughs> And then that's when you intervene, Father, isn't it? Yes. During my many contacts with the Bazooks, I sympathized with their people and wanted to help them regain what they once owned, primarily hope. That was the reason behind my conference about the Schnibble, a mythical concept that was to bring forth an era of peace and harmony. But Father, you took the risk of attracting the wrath of the bigwig upon yourself. Proof is that he had you kidnapped and jailed. Yes, but I anticipated it. The goal was to create conditions favorable to the emergence of a positive and creative force. It worked because everybody, humans and bazooks alike, adopted the schnibble. The only thing missing was that little spark. You mean me, Woodruff? Absolutely. I saved you in the last minute as you and your parents, a mixed human bazook couple, were going to be sent outside to the ferocious animals roaming outside the city. I saw in your intelligent eyes that you had high capabilities. You were a little too young, but that was a minor problem for my Bible Fartzer. Then, Father, I was only a mere instrument in your hands. No, you are the only one who acted. Go on, don't worry, glory awaits you. <laughs> You can move the eye at will using its hole. That's how you do it, you little cheat. Here, that's what I think about that. Uh. I don't care. I have more of those. I feel like I'm close to observed all of a sudden. I'd better be cautious. Cut, wake up! She isn't responding. What happened to her? Is she under some kind of spell? I have to take care of her. I got it. I know what happened to her. She got bit by the beast. I could make an antidote in my lab.
To make it work, she has to drink the antidote by herself. And she isn't up to it. Feel better? It's me, Woodruff. We, we talked on the Tabazan. Don't you remember? You invited me. I might have trusted you too soon. What says that you are on my side? With all that's happened to me, I have to be extremely cautious. But I'm the one who broke the spell that was cast upon you. What if it's a trick? After all, I don't know you. Ridiculous little plant. It must be the only one that's officially allowed in this city. Only the bigwig could have authorized Kukut this privilege. This little weakness will be the end of him, I'm sure of it. So, happy now? Oh, dear Woodruff. Sorry I pushed you away earlier. But I felt so groggy. Miss Cocotte, help me find the bigwig. I think he's responsible for what happened to you. And as for me, I have personal reasons to hold a grudge against him. He holds my adoptive father prisoner, and he savagely murdered my best friend, um, m m my teddy bear. Oh, poor Woodruff. How sad. I can help you because my window looks on the tower where the bigwig locked himself up with the president. There's no other access. You who were close to him, tell me about this horrible character. I was his girlfriend before he became crazy. He used to be a charming man. One day, I saw him with a tightly closed container. He said that it was a very rare bazook relic, and he wanted to open it very badly, but far from inquisitive eyes. And what happened next? When I saw him again, he had this mean look in his eyes that frightened me. And then he locked himself in the tower with the president, and they both started causing all kinds of problems that gradually poisoned our city. It was about that time that the beast started attacking people. It was the beast that attacked me when I was talking to you on the phone the other day. I don't understand why I'm still alive. And, and what was the bigwig's reaction to the schnibble? To improve his control of those under his influence, he created a sect. The followers of the Schnibble. You know, he's a master at manipulating people. How can I participate in the glory of the Schnibble? I'm ready to join. Say the sacred mantra, and the doors of the knowledge will open before you. Listen. Schnibble. And 
keep practicing regularly the sacred mantra because it will lead you to the highest levels of spirituality. Welcome. Get settled and join our group for prayer. Now that we have all chanted the mantra, let us meditate. Let us wait for the sign of the Schnibble. It will reveal who is worthy of being today's chosen initiate. Then we'll continue with the ceremony. The Schnibble has spoken. You are the chosen one today. Join your brothers in the initiation chamber. This computer is not plugged in. Priest, I'd, I'd like to use the Schnibbles computer. It's good that you are interested in our organization. Pay your dues to the cult, and the Schnibble will plug in the computer. the sacred code to use the computer. H Hi, priest. The computer is asking me for the sacred code. If you want the sacred code, you'll have to bribe the schnibble. You know where? Uh. 
high priest, I fulfilled all my obligations to the Schnibble. Am I worthy of the sacred code now? Yes, my son. The sacred code is... The sacred code. To establish contact with the knowledge, I have to make a contribution to the cult. What is your goal? Our objective is thorough schnibbling. What's that for? It's used for schnibbling when it zlots. When schnibbling isn't enough. Ah, oh, this is not easy at all for the layman that you are. What is your goal? Our objective is thorough schnibbling. What's that for? It's used for schnibbling when it zlots. When schnibbling isn't enough. Ah, oh, this is not easy at all for the layman that you are. Got it? I finally established communications with the knowledge. The concentration cycle for day is Grand Gong, Grand Gong, Small Gong, Grand Gong, Small Gong, Small Gong. Here we are finally, you bigwig scum. Now you're going to pay for the murder of my teddy bear. I'm going to reduce you to a heap of pixels that I will myself splatter all over the universe. Good timing, eh? The bigwig is protected by a hatred field that you cannot cross in your present condition. Lighten your thoughts. Make your mind float.
I have no hatred for you, Bigwig, because you are not responsible. You are under the grip of forces of evil that invaded you mistakenly. But you have to give in. Give yourself up while there is still time. Don't waste your saliva, you conceited dog. What weapons do you plan to use against me? Look around you. This is an impregnable fortress, and you just went straight into the wolf's mouth. There are weapons out there even more formidable than you can ever dream about, Bigwig. You bore me with your chit-chat. You talk just like your father. I'm going to shut you up. Hey, buddy. No more resources? You've got some nerve, you little twerp. I'm gonna do you in. You... This machine can make you younger or older. Should I try it? Get it over with you, filthy beast. Now that you've showed your real face, be fearful, because I have the schnibble on my side. If you think I'm scared by this so-called power invented by Azimuth, you're wrong, you little twerp. All I wanted from him was to rejuvenate the body of the bigwig I was using. Bigwig is not bad at all, especially the privileges. But it doesn't matter. You're young. You'll do. Beware of the schnibble, you beast! It will destroy you! And what is it that you're going to do now that you don't have any more Buzo Yorli to protect yourself? Oh, I'm hypnotized by the filthy beast. It's going to jump. It's all over. puppet in the hands of the bigwig who was ripping the city blind. My turn to act now. I'm committed to straighten up this mess rapidly. For starters, I will correct injustice, abusive taxes, and get rid of this damn numeric keypad. Azibuth's spiritual son 
solemnly decided to accomplish the aims of the Schnibble. He was given the authority to govern by a population ready for change, and grateful that he rid the city of a tyrant who terrorized them. Woodruff, the bad with no childhood, became a popular president who reconciled Hubert's and Bazooks. During his tenure, the city prospered and opened itself to the outside world. The jungle was conquered. The first expeditions outside the region started at that time.